We want our body to burn that fat. Woo! Mamma mia. That's intense, baby. Just, oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I just opened the floodgate. I gotta get off the internet. Well, hello. Welcome to a little day in the life video. Um, just gonna share with you my meals. I don't know what to title this video, but I have been on a roll with being consistent with my calorie deficit. And if you happen to stumble upon my channel, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Neela Joy. I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule, fasting for 20 hours a day and eating within a four hour eating window. Sometimes I did real OMAD, 24 one or 24 nothing, 23 one. Um, right now I am in the process of building muscle transforming this physique to help support my body I started one meal a day because I was binge eating I was out of control with my binge eating after getting into a car accident where I had several injuries it's taken me years to heal I'm still in the process of healing I had a really bad TBI a traumatic brain injury a concussion injury um, my vagal nerve was a mess I couldn't sleep for months um, it was a pretty bad time and it didn't help that I was in a situation where I didn't feel supported. I felt beaten down because I got into an accident and I wasn't useful, I guess. I don't know, but I'm getting rid of that situation. Yeah, so I'm in the process of starting over my life, really. And I guess you'll get to know more about that throughout this video because I'm going to do something today to help me restart my life. But anyway, if you're interested in learning about weight loss, nutrition, um, just getting motivated because I'm so on right now. And when I am on, I'm on and I'm just disciplined, I'm focused and I want to rub that energy off on you guys because I want you guys to be dif disciplined and focused as well. I want you guys to know that you can achieve your goals. Delayed gratification is the name of the game. You have to be able to resist the urges of the now to get a much sweeter present in the future. Strongly believe that delayed gratification and self-discipline is the key to self-love. It is self-love. We want to love ourselves. We want to love ourselves into being our best selves. So there you have it. Anyway, this morning I went to the gym. I had a personal training appointment with my PT. I did not have time to eat. I'm actually on day like four or five of my cycle. And during this time, I'm not really hungry. So I kind of had half of my little cheesy egg omelet. Oh yeah, I'm doing keto right now. I'm doing carb cycling, but I'm mainly doing the keto diet. And I think there will be days where I fill up my muscles because it's going to need that. But right now we're going keto for a while, probably for a good week and a bit. So I had my cheesy egg keto omelet, half of it. But right now I'm home. I ended up seeing the doctor. He injected into my neck because um, it's scary where he injects. He uses the ultrasound uh, machine to guide him, but it's not a fun place to be injected. So um, the reason why he's injecting my neck is repercussions from the car accident. I messed up my neck. I had a horrible whiplash, slip disc, and I have a shoulder injury and everything. And he injected my SCM muscle my sternocoid mastoid muscle i gotta learn this and yeah it sucked and then he injected my pack um it is what it is he's always apologizing but i'm like it's fine you know i know i have big boobs so it's kind of hard for him to maneuver i'm like put your hands where you need to put your hands okay <laughs> it sounds horrible <laughs> But yeah, I know men are so like careful these days because of everything, you know, the whole, uh, but um, I'm not going to get into that. That's for my podcast. I talk about stuff on that. Um, I'm working on my podcast right now, but yeah, like, you know, it's cool. He's a doctor, you know, he doesn't make me feel any kind of way. So it is what it is. And it kind of helps that he's cute. Oh God. I just, oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I just opened the floodgates. <laughs> Yes, I opened the floodgates. He's cute. Oh, it's okay. He can say that because he's cute. I'm just thinking about Greg Doucette, how he got like rolled for what he said about the bikini girls. And everyone's like, if it was Chris Bumston, it would have been okay. Well, Chris Bumston is a guy with class. I don't think he'll do that. Plus he's getting married. But if you're a short manlet, it's not okay. <laughs> I gotta get off the internet. Anyway, whatever. He's cute. Even if he was older, as long as he has a good vibe, I wouldn't mind, you know? It's, it's, I just want him to inject me safely because he's got to go over me in a way. 
and then he's it, it's hard to explain anyway this muscle's been causing it's really tight so it's been causing a lot of headaches but this was a good five minute rant so let me show you my meal <laughs> all right here it is um here is half of my cheesy egg omelet i just reheated it and i've got some dipping sauce and a bunch of vegetables hashtag stuff your face with vegetables now if you want to help yourself lose weight you want to keep your glucose curve very flat. I'm talking about content from the glucose goddess. The reason why OMAD works so well, the reason why fasting works so well, why? Because it flattens our glucose curves. The glucose spike is what makes it very difficult for us to stay in a calorie deficit because those glucose spikes, and I even like mentioned it in one of my videos when I was wearing a CGM. I'm working on the CGM, guys. I don't really feel like wearing it right now, but I, I will, I want to wear it. I got to get into it. But I noticed when my glucose spiked and then dropped, that drop is where you get like tons of hunger. So um, when you eat certain foods, foods like sugars, foods high in fructose, just garbage foods, um, it will spike your blood sugar and it'll keep you, it'll keep you crazy. And that stresses out your mitochondria. That's why a lot of people don't have energy and stuff. So it's really important to eat foods that stabilize your blood sugar. And two foods that will do that, number one, fiber. Why? Because it feeds your gut microbiome and your gut microbiome is responsible for stabilizing sugar. And obviously fats and proteins. You wanna keep your starches and your carbohydrates afterwards. So according to Jesse from the Glucose God Goddess, you want to blanket your carbs. Now I don't have carbs in here because I'm doing keto. Oh yeah, keto diet, keto diet, keto diet, Reason why keto diet works so well and why it crushes hunger, again, it stabilizes those blood sugar. And the ketones go up into the brain. I explained this already several times on my channel and shuts down hunger hormones. It goes up into the hypothalamus. So that's why keto works so well. Like people are like, oh, these diets, blah, blah, blah. Like you can lose weight with carbs to make life easier, blanket your carbs. So let's say, let's say this was a carb, okay? Let's say this was what carb? Let's say this was rice. Imagine it was rice, okay? So what am I gonna eat first in this meal? I'm gonna grab the broccoli. And if you wanna even stabilize your blood sugar more before you even eat, take a shot in, of apple cider vinegar. I guess I'm gonna do that right now because I feel like taking apple cider vinegar. <laughs> All right, I'm back with my apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna take a shot. I should be wearing a CGM for this. Usually it takes 30 minutes for things to dial back. But for this to, no. So if you want to, like, if you, let's say you're wearing a CGM, Dr. Mindy Pell says, and everyone I've watched says that you need to check your blood sugar 30 minutes after eating to see how your body responds to the meal. But anyway, why do we take apple cider vinegar or any vinegar without sugar is that it helps to lower your blood sugar. It's the key. That's the key to weight loss is lowering your blood sugar. Cause when your blood sugars are low, guess what your body's gonna do? It's gonna have to go for stored glucose. Stored glucose, stored fat. That's what we want. We want our body to burn that fat. Woo! Mamma mia. That's intense, baby. <coughs> I'm dying. <sighs> the dog's judging me right now. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna have my vegetables. Wow, I don't even feel like eating. I dipped it in fat, that's fine. You can dip it in fat. This is um, a fatty, a nice fatty keto vegetable dip. Mm. So you wanna eat all your vegetables first. Hopefully there's nothing on my face. And let's say I ate all my vegetables. Then you go for the starches, the carbs. Mm. Technically, there is carbs in this. Well, there's carbs in the vegetables, but it's fiber. Sorry. <laughs> and then, if you want to have a dessert, have a dessert. That is going to be able to keep your blood sugar low. So maybe I'll have a dessert after this, and that dessert will be a keto cookie. Maybe. We'll see. I have a bunch of keto cookies I made yesterday. So there's a little tip there. Anyway, macros and calories for the day thus far. <laughs> is not a lot and i worked out quite a bit my personal trainer kicked my butt she's more of a crossfit kind of girl and i did like kind of like a cross stick stick crossfit style workout kind of circuit i love that type of training but my body just wasn't prepared for it 
but I pushed through. She says normally a lot of people, when she first puts them through this, they never finish or they don't finish. So she's like, the fact that you're even finishing, good for you. Cause I'm like, I feel so out of shape. I feel so weak. She's like, no, you're not, you're fine. It's normal. Um, so, so my breakfast was 376 calories. I'm eating the other half of it now. 2.2 grams of net carbs, 30 grams of fat, 23 grams of protein. And my snack is 170 calories, 50, no, 4.9 grams of protein, 9.9 .9 grams of fat, and 10 grams of net carbs. What? Hamburger rolls? That's not hamburger rolls. That makes no sense. I'm not sure what happened there. My fitness, what? No, that's wrong. My fitness pal screwed up something and I scanned that. That's not a hamburger roll. It's supposed to be a dip. My snack is wrong. Give me a second. All right, that was weird. My fitness pal, I don't know, but they calculate this as hamburger rolls. They're not hamburger rolls. Like the name is wrong, but the nutrition facts is right. So it was 10 grams of net carbs. Why am I using my fitness pal? Because trainer rise. That I'm working with my trainer you uh, is linked up to my fitness pal unfortunately unfortunately the trainist app is not linked up to that yet but I see why the tra trainist app exists because my fitness pal is a hot mess hot mess when it comes to nutrition like there's just all these inputted like incorrect stuff that like how do you expect people to be on top of their nutrition if what's in your database is incorrect. So shout out to the Trainerize team, man. I wish they can work with me for another video. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's why I'm using my fitness pal. All right, I got a new kitchen scale. Not that there's anything wrong with my old one. But the problem with this guy is that it only measures in grams. I get a lot of recipes or when I was using Marcella's app, to get my recipes. A lot of it is in ounces. You Americans are making my life difficult. So I need a scale because of the system, you know, um, what do you call it? The British Imperial system and everyone else is on the metric system. I need a scale with ounces because I'm tired of converting ounces to grams or grams to ounces and so forth. But a lot of the recipes are like that. So I got this scale on the Amazon. If you wanna know what scale this is, I will link it below in my Amazon links there. I'm an Amazon associate, guys. So if you guys just use my link to shop, you're helping me out tremendously. And you're helping me produce more content for the channel because, you know, I gotta survive somehow. <laughs> Ooh la la, that's fancy. That's fancy. Comes in a little protector. And it's chargeable, so you can charge it with USB-C, which is kind of helpful. But here is the new scale. This is going to be very beneficial for baking recipes, because I've been baking a lot, and that's where everything has to be converted. Here it is, beautiful in blue. There's a bit of scratches here. I think that's just paper scratch. I think this comes off, right? Yeah, it does. That's paper scratch, because I was about to say, about to say. Does it turn on? Do I have to charge it? Oh, it does. Look at that. What a pretty scale. All right. So we've got unit. We've got grams. I don't know. Ounces, which is key. Ounces, ton. DWT. I'm not sure what. Okay. And pounds. Okay, okay. Oh, there's grams. All right. Good to go. Let's just set it to grams because that's the most accurate unit of measure you want to use grams as much as possible when uh, you're losing weight you can use ounces too but if you want to be really specific grams all right so I've got my next meal here I'm not gonna eat it in my room I'm just coming in here because my son is making a lot of mo noise and I don't feel like eating in his room or sorry filming in his room because he's in the living room so I came to the the other room anyway um so this is my next meal, 173 calories. Pretty good meal, eh? So it is 98 grams of sirloin steak um, and some kale. Net carbs, 0.1, 5 
5.1 grams of fat and 31 grams of protein. Like what a meal. This is a pretty epic meal. Look at that. That should fill me up for a bit. Um, that's pretty good for 173 calories. No. Yeah, 173. I thought I got it wrong. So right now, calories on the day. I love eating like this, like small bite-sized meals. It's just the way to do keto meals. I have 953 calories left-ish. I think this has me at 1,600 calories a day. Yeah, it has me at 1,645. Um, I don't want to be at 1,645. Like, if I get to 16, it's not a big deal. I would have to sacrifice fat. Maybe I'll just leave it as is because a few days I did hit 16. But um, total calories on the day is, uh, come on, um, 719 calories thus far on the day. Why is it doing net calories? We don't do net calories. That's stupid. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at thus far. I'm so not using used to using my fitness pal because I was using trainer, the trainist app, but I have to transition back and I love the setup for the trainist app. I do. Yeah, 953. Yeah, I've only had 719 calories and it's 3.41 p.m. All right, here is my next meal. Macros and calories will be on the screen there. My energy was on another level in that video. Holy smokes. But let's talk about that day. That was a keto OMAD day. Um, so let's look at the nutrition here. Nutrition was 154 grams of protein, 24 grams of net carbs, and 87 grams of fat. Total amount of calories was 1,598 calories. So that was like a quick day in the life, full day of eating video. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in three star emojis and I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.